What's up guys, it's Taylor and Jeff. Welcome to our very first episode of... We don't have a name yet, but we're gonna be cooking. Today we are making, what are we making? We are making apple cinnamon muffins, both mini and regular sized, and homemade bread, Dutch oven bread, because we don't have a... Well, Dutch oven bread's good. Yeah. <clears throat> so, let's get to it. Let's oh, get to it, we fully rearranged. We're also going live. Oh, no, I want Instagram. We fully rearranged the apartment to make it look like the set of our very own Food Network show. I thought we did pretty good. Yeah, Rachel Ray's shake. Yeah. Without further ado, first things first. Oh yeah. We'll have a nice glass of wine <laughs> while we cook. All right, so, so what do you want to start with first? I say we start with the muffins. Okay. So let's make, show everyone the two tins we have. So this is our mini muffin tin. Minis. Cute. This is our regular regular muffin tin. Looks dirty, it's not. We're also using um, liners. Liners anyway. So we're gonna make a bunch of minis so we can give them to our doorman and our neighbors. Yes. With gloves, of course. Yeah. So let's pull up the recipe. Okay, we forgot to put the oven on. First things first, we need to grease our pan. For the minis, we don't have liners, so we're going to butter these. We're gonna butter our butter. Pans. Let me get you another stick because that's been waiting for room temperature because I think we need the whole thing. Okay, cool. And then we need flour. So here you okay. are. Actually, let me make sure this is room temp. It's good there. First step, I'm taking some butter and I'm gonna butter this mini muffin tin. Peel this back. I wash my hands. I took my ring off, and we're buttering. I'm just like going. Sticking it in there and rubbing it around. There, there is anything? Hello, hello. Taylor the voice. What are you guys doing? We're baking. Okay, how did the banana bread come out? Uh, really good. Really good. I, I ate say, it almost all. Let already. me show you how much is left. Yeah, do that. So, I'm clearly a professional. I've been doing this a while. Okay, so... It wasn't this whole pan. It wasn't but, the whole pan. Uh, that is but I would say 85% is gone. All right, so we are fully greased and buttered. Greased and buttered pan. Okay, so she's buttered. Now flour that, dust it. All right, Glad this. you're drinking with us, Nick. Yeah, so like now like yeah. give it a little like shake and then any excess bounce off in there. Oh, shoot, I didn't see those. I need to do those too. All right, so now we floured our pan. Let's use liners for these. So we spent all morning cutting out the newspaper into these little ah. cup-shaped cups for our cupcakes. Also kidding. That's a lie. So these we obviously don't need to grease. Taylor, you're doubling up. No, it's only one time. It was one time. They all look the same. Okay. And we have a fresh batch under here. Yeah, we have a fresh batch already made and we're done. Two cups flour. All right, do we need this one? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. And one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. One and a half. All right, how many two cups of flour? Two cups of flour. One cup. Are you gonna have one when they're done? Are you gonna have one when they're done? Yes. Two cups flour. One and a half baking powder. Not to be confused with baking soda, this is baking powder. Okay, and then we need half a teaspoon. Shh. Hold on, I can only do one thing at a time. One and a half? Correct. Fun fact, do you know what yep. that thing is there for? Level. Maybe everyone else doesn't know. So sure. one teaspoon. Happy Sunday. Or whatever day it feels like. It okay. feels like an endless So, Sunday. flour and baking powder, done. We need half a teaspoon salt. However, it calls for unsalted butter and we only have salted butter. So I think we should do a quarter of a teaspoon to okay. outweigh the butter, the salt and the butter. Is the butter, is the butter really salty? Or like, it's fine. I don't know the exact amount. So then maybe we should just, you're right, you're right, this is a good idea. Do like that and like a little bit, like a little pinch. Mm -hmm. Order salt. Perfect. Christian confirmed cut our salt by half. I was right. Perfect. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, to be fair, <clears throat> to be clear, this is not actually newspaper. It's just like decorated. This like is why newspaper. This is why he. This is he jokes all the time. 
two teaspoons cinnamon. However, no, we, we all know my love for cinnamon, oh so gosh. let's double it. Double? Not double. We can add one more. Okay. Do you like my negotiating power there? I start with all double. All right. All right. We're doing three teaspoons of cinnamon. We have the 365 brand ground cinnamon. Taylor, someone asked, what's your favorite dessert? All right, my favorite dessert, there's like there's like broad answer and then there's more specific. Let's see if Jeff can get either of them. I think I for sure know one. All right, let's hear it. I know both of them. Let's hear it. Tiramisu. Yeah! Chocolate cake. Yeah, good job, high five. We're setting this aside. All right, and here's the finished product. Yeah. <laughs> Next, we are going to cream together the butter and the sugar. Also, this is a light on Jeff's head. It's not a bald spot. Just want to point that out. One stick of butter. Easy. And one cup of sugar. And what, that? Big bowl. A oh, big bowl. Okay. Good job. And then how one much cup? sugar? One cup. One cup. Oh. How did you get this all oh, yesterday? Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, got it. We're just using the nice um, Domino brand sugar. One cup sugar going in, and I'm gonna what? I'm gonna whisk it until it's... You're gonna cream it. Okay, did I use the uh, spreader I'm thing? I'm getting you uh, whisks. All right, me back with the uh, this guy. Okay. So we're gonna do that for three minutes until it's all combined, no sugar in here. No sugar. All right, let's give it a scrape. Uh, I would say another like 45 seconds. Perfect. Okay. All right, so next. Hold on, let's explain. What oh, wait, we're gonna add an egg one at a time. Right. So we have just mixed our butter and sugar. Wow, incredible. All right, job. I'm gonna go grab two eggs. Okay. All right, egg. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna do add one at a time. So I'll add this. Okay, not as good as the first one, but no, no, still no shell. Wow. One. One. Two. Ready? Yep. So we gently fold in flour mixture. Alternating with milk, stir until just combined. Okay, I hate How to tell you, you we forgot something. No, you're kidding. We just need to cut the apples. Oh, where did those go though? Not in yet. Yeah, of course. Oh. Okay, so let's do that. All right. So we have done our two mixtures, our flour, baking powder, and cinnamon. So for those other... bakers out there, everyone knows that there's always dry ingredients and then your wet ingredients, and then you combine the two right before dry you ingredients bake to uh, wet ingredients. Okay, Taylor. Okay. We need. We're gonna mix. How these... much milk are we gonna have? I think only <clears throat> like not not that much. Okay. But we need to mix these apples with two tablespoons flour and more cinnamon. More cinnamon, huh? Yeah. It's, it's a trick. No. Into where? Uh, just like in a bowl, because then we're going to incorporate that. What kind mm. of apples? Good apples. Honey crisp. Organic honey crisp. I don't know how many I need. So we, let's do a lot. Yeah, I like, do I like apple. How much? There's only one. I know. All right, we're doing two apples to taste. <laughs> to taste. What, that's what you say. Yeah. All right, we're chopping up our apples. I wish I could do like a close-up frame, but I only have so much equipment. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. All right. All right, wait, add some flour to that and cinnamon. Just like a pinch of flour? Or like, no, like actually measure? You don't have to actually measure, but just make sure everything's coated. We don't want them to be too liquidy when they bake and have like just a watery mess. So this will thicken everything. Okay, almost done. How much cinnamon? Um, like, okay. no, more. That's like good. half a teaspoon. That's good. All right, so this is now the apple filling. I don't really know what this YouTube video is gonna be like because yeah. I don't know what we're doing, but you'll get to watch us bake in the middle of our living room, so that's always nice. 
Okay, done. Ready for some more? Yes. Yo, smells like fall. Right, it does. Now we are going to fold in our dry mixture, which we need to mix um, into that. Right. So can you measure out half a cup of milk? Because we are going to alternate adding the dry ingredients with milk. Okay, all right, half a cup of milk. We're using grade A whole milk. Uh, not yet, hold on. Okay, so add a little bit of the dry. Into here? Yep. So we're gonna do like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's good, we are folding in, people, folding. Okay, and now add some milk. Nice. Okay, and now a little bit more dry. Okay. More milk. More milk. Oh, this is so satisfying. I wish you guys could see this. The folding part. <laughs> okay, more dry. Nice. Wow, you really caught on to the pattern. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> All right. All right, let's do the rest. All right, nice. Okay, then you can read the next part, but I'm pretty sure we're folding in apples after that. Gently fold in mixture, alternating, blah, blah, blah. Prepare topping from, oh wait. Wait, what? Fold in diced apples and scoop mixture into prepared muffin tins. Okay, here's what we look like. Nice. Looking very much like a batter consistency, which is always a good sign when you're making Something with batter. Batter. Okay, apples. Nice. Wow, this is gonna have a lot of apples. Yeah. Take a look at this, people. Look at that. Nice. All right, guys. I'm gonna put the oven on. All right, preheating the oven to 375 degrees. Would you like to do the honors? Yes. Okay, let's do minis first. Yeah, these are minis. And then the regular ones. Uh, I would say a little bit less. Like it's three like, fourths of the way full. Yeah, but it's hard to like. I know. After this, we just need to create the topping. Okay, what did tell the. Which tell is. The folks what the topping is. Butter, cinnamon, and sugar. Um, so I will go melt some butter. Okay. All right, so we have filled. Our mini muffin tins. Now we do the big ones. Do you want to use? I would use one of those. There, it's, it like doesn't come out easily. Okay. Then so should I just. You can even. I mean, I'll use this and I'll. You just can use like, a spatula. If you want. I mean, I'll I'll use this. Do you think this one's good enough? Yeah. And I'll just finger it out. <laughs> All right. So now we have filled our muffin tins. Wonderful. And our minis. And I'm gonna it's wash my hands. All right, so now we are moving on to baking fresh bread in our Dutch oven. And we are waiting to put our muffins into the oven. So here we go. Okay, let's we make bread. Yeast. One packet of yeast. Warm water. Okay. So I will get the lukewarm Oh, is this water. one whole pack or is this three packets? Three. How do you? I'll cut it. Okay. Okay, so I'll go do that. Okay. In a large bowl, mix together the flour and salt by hand. So I'm just gonna use this large bowl, I guess. There's a little cinnamon left over, but that's okay. Um, so for the bread, I wanted to make sourdough, but sourdough takes a couple days to make, sour if you will. Um, so for the bread that we're making, you need two cups lukewarm water between 90 and 110 degrees. You need one envelope active dry yeast, four cups all purpose flour, lightly packed and leveled off, one and one half teaspoons kosher salt, and one teaspoon olive oil. That's it. That's how you make fresh bread and a Dutch oven with a lid. Okay, the oven's ready. All right, perfect. You do this. See more. Oh, I'll do this, okay. So okay. right now I'm going to stir in the yeast in the water. Let's 
Stir that until foaming. I need a, a spoon, babe. I got a stirring. All right, so stir this until what? Until foamy? Yeah, yeah, let it go, it's let foamy. it go, let it go, let it go. Okay, now I need flour. You know what? Take it away. Four <laughs> cups flour. Four cups? I thought it said two cups. Four. It's not going in there at all. I'll clean this. Wait, dude, that one will work right there. Uh, no, it needs to be bigger than that. so much. All right, so four cups in here? Yes. Can we confirm that? Confirmed. One cup. You always need your yeast to do its thing on its own. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna mix four cups of flour. Two cups. A little more than two cups because I put the excess in. This is what they did before sliced bread. Four cups of flour. Done. One and a half teaspoons salt. One and a half teaspoons, right? Not tablespoons? Correct. One teaspoon and half a teaspoon. Okay. So now for our bread, we have our water and yeast over here. We're waiting for the yeast to activate. Correct. Okay. Here we have four cups of flour with our salt. Okay, we're going to create a little well in the middle there. Or should I mix it first? Uh, yeah, so make sure it's all incorporated. What did you put in there? Um, I'm doing an experiment with what temperature water works best for yeast. Is that two separate ones? Yeah. Nice. All right, so this is good. So I'm gonna make a little hole in the middle here for the egg, right? Uh, no, for the water and yeast mixture. Oh, okay. Never mind. Don't listen to that part. Uh, don't pat it because you don't want to get it dense there. You know? Sure. It's crazy that yeast is alive. Is that good? It's like probiotics. Yeah, that's good. Mix by hand. Okay. Wetting your working hand before mixing. <laughs> so the dough doesn't stick to your fingers. The water and flour should come together and form. No, a, it's not. And a form rough dough that pulls away from the sides of the bowl. If the dough is too sticky, add more flour. I'm gonna check on the muffins. All right, well, it's sticking to my hands, so I feel like that was the first rule. I wasn't supposed to do that. So now I am just mixing the bread mixture. Yeah, it's really sticky, babe. All right, add it like a little at a time. Oh, she is like quicksand, this one. Ugh. Um, I'm gonna need you to add the flour. Okay. It just needs a little bit of flour. Yes, it does. Okay, Chuck. It's a good sign that it's smelling. You know what I mean? Because that means the yeast is working. So now that this is mixed, we're going to wet a napkin or towel kitchen towel, dish towel, whatever you want to call it, to lay over the bread for it to rise, which will take about an hour and a half. Right, okay. Should I like try to like No, that's good, it'll do its thing. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Okay, this is best in a warm spot, so let's put it above the oven that's on for the muffins. Okay, Taylor, now we can make the topping for the muffins. Will you go in the microwave and see if the butter is melted? Yes. Thank you. Will you put this above on the stove? How about we put it just in the microwave? Like, is it hot in there? Sure it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously not on. Okay, now let's do the cinnamon sugar mixture for the top of the muffins. Oh, also, can you check on the mini ones and see if they're done? I feel like they are. Um, okay, I'll look. All right, back to the toppings for our... Okay, so we're just gonna do, like, coat it with butter and then cinnamon sugar. Oh. 
on top of the matzahs. Oh, nice. Okay, so, um, so just do cinnamon sugar in here, and then like that's for when we cook. I'll go check on the thing. Here is this for you. All right, cinnamon sugar. This reminds me of cinnamon sugar toast that I would always eat when I was a kid. I would actually make like a cinnamon sugar mixture and leave it in a cup in the cabinet. And then I would add it, looks like this. I would add it to, I'd put a little butter on my toast and then I would add this. It's very good, very delicious. Cinnamon sugar topping. Our little mini guys. Oh, yeah. That was so much apple. So much apple. Let's cut into it and see how she's doing. My face. There we go. Oh yeah. Did you put a toothpick in? No, I want to cut it in, cut it open, and let's try it. Oh, oh baby, yeah, she's is, done. Yeah, she looks good. Okay, wait. Let's we'll do the topping first. Right. Just um, do a little dip. Oh. Do we, dip, dip into the do we brush and then into that. With the topping, hmm. Oh, that's good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. This is. We just found out. Oh, hold on. Renewed for a second season. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. All right. You know what it tastes like? Apple pie. What else? Not the McDonald's thing. Okay. <laughs> what? It tastes like a, a cinnamon sugar Auntie Anne's pretzel at the mall with apple. Mm -hmm. With okay. apple. <laughs> you ever do that? Yeah, hold your hold tongue. Hold your tongue and say apple. Okay, I'll bring the minis. Uh, do we have a brush in there? I don't know, I thought we did. Should we use a comb? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't want to put this on the... Um... Put it on the keyboard. I'll put a napkin down. Nope. Oh. Here you are. It's a little something fell on the ground, I guess. Perks of having a dog. Our minis are now out of the oven. We've moved up close. How do we feel, chef? Yeah, I feel good, I feel good. So we're taking our melted butter and we're just gonna brush over. I'm just gonna do the whole thing. Okay. Now we're gonna take the cinnamon sugar Bone apple teeth. All right, so. So we're just waiting on our regular sized muffins. Look at those. All right, and then we have to wait an hour. We'll just make this about an hour and a half for our bread to rise. We'll not be on live that time, don't worry. All right, this is just gonna be our dessert. Now we're done. We have our minis done. We have our big ones in the oven. And uh, cheers. Mwah. All right guys, so we have our mini, we have our apple cinnamon minis out, buttered and uh, topped with cinnamon sugar. We are waiting for the large muffins to bake. And then we have our bread, waiting to rise for about an hour and a half. So see you in an hour and a half. All right, the big boys just came out of the oven. Here's what we're looking like. Wow, bellissima, delicioso. All right, now we will butter these and coat them with our cinnamon sugar concoction. I can go ahead and butter these now, right? Uh-huh. How, how was it? Yeah. All right, now for the cinnamon sugar topping. All right, now we wait for the bread. All right, we're back. All right, ideally our dough has doubled, but we haven't looked yet. 
So here we go. Three, two. Oh, nice! It did. It definitely did. Oh. What? Oh. More flour. He pokes with your finger. If the dough has risen properly, it should indent under the pressure of your finger and slowly deflate. What is up you guys, welcome back. It has been two and a half hours. We have let our bread rise and then we mix it around and let it rise again. And now we have our lightly floured surface to bring go. Oh, wow. wow, she really filled out. She looks she's thick. Okay, so do I show you this? Yes. Nice. Wow, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm gonna take a little flour. Do you want to preheat the oven? Yes. So we're going to preheat the oven to 450 and sit our Dutch oven inside of it while it preheats. All right, so now I'm going to make this into a loaf. Yeah, so try and make it into the shape of what we're doing, you know? So like a circle? Yeah. It's going to work with exactly. that. Add some more flour. She's looking real nice. Now that is a beautiful loaf of bread. How does it look? Phenomenal. Looks really good. Okay, so now we need to coat a bowl with olive oil and then flour. Also, this is our very first cooking video. I know this is very long. Please bear with us. We're learning and we made two whole dishes. So that's just part of it. This isn't Barefoot Contessa where we have the finished Not product yet. under the table already, but. Okay, flour me. In this? Mm -hmm. Let's put seam side down. Yep, which is how I had it already. Gorgeous. Okay. All right, so we're gonna cover it for one final hour to let it rise, and then we are going to bake it. Bake it. So, see you in another hour. Many hours later. All right, four and a half hours later, our bread is officially done. She's butter her up. Um, Honestly, not bad for our first attempt with a Dutch oven type bread. Yes. Our Dutch oven did change colors in the oven, so we're a little mm -hmm. concerned about that, but the bread looks crispy on the outside, hopefully soft on the inside. Um, but I don't know how long this video is gonna end up being, but it's been a full Six day hours. full day of us baking. Thank you for watching us make our first batch of homemade bread and our Muffins. Yep, our muffin, our um, apple cinnamon <laughs> muffins. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and our one. Cheers. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. There, hopefully there will be a lot more cooking videos in the future and we'll figure out the best way to logistically film them and make them so they're not seven hours long. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Bone apple teeth to all of you. All right, bye.